Novatech FX, is it a scam or is it the real deal that can make you an absolute fortune? Now we've just got some news. I've not done a video now for a couple of weeks. I've been away on holiday, enjoying a break. Um, but news breaking on Novatech that they have now got a trade cease order. This means that Novatech have to stop promoting their business, quote unquote, uh, into Ontario, Canada. And there's serious consequences if they don't do that. And I've also heard that uh, back in December 2022, Novatech promised to issue refunds to everyone in Canada because Canada basically said, look, you're acting illegally, you're offering securities and you need to be licensed to do that, authorized to do that. And Novatech have made no such undertaking to get a license or authorization. And that's simply because they're not genuinely trading. If they were, then they'd have no trouble going, getting a license, proving their accounts and so on. But they haven't, and it's because they're operating a Ponzi scheme scam. Um, so let's have a look at the Ontario uh, result. And keep watching as well, because I'll give you uh, a legitimate alternative, an example of how you can actually see somewhere to put your money uh, in a safe and verified way. Uh, but first of all, let's go and have a look at this Ontario Securities Commission Investor Alert, Novatech, for immediate release, 17th of February, 2023. Uh, the Ontario Securities Commission is warning investors that Novatech, which operates the website novatechfx.com, is not registered with the OSC in any capacity. This means they are not authorised to offer trading in securities to anyone located in the province. Okay, so this is very clear. They're trying to make it as clear as possible. Look, Novatech FX are operating illegally in uh, Ontario. Now the point of saying this for Ontario is that they're operating illegally in every country in the world because they're not registered anywhere to offer securities. Uh, but it's just that Ontario are slightly ahead of the game here so big thumbs up to them uh, for pointing this out for um, users and members of Novatech FX. But if you're in Novatech FX you would already know that uh, accounts have been frozen and you cannot withdraw from the trading account until Believe it or not, the 1st of April, April Fool's Day. Uh, so if that happens, we'll be very surprised because there'll be a whole slew of uh, withdrawal requests going in ready for that 1st of April now that people are starting to realise this whole thing is a scam. Uh, let's continue reading. The OSC today issued a temporary cease trade order that includes a pro prohibition against all trading in any securities by Novatech. So this is temporary, and what they're doing is here offering... A, whilst they're doing more research, they're offering uh, an olive branch for anyone who is in Ontario who has been defrauded by Novatech for a chance to contact the Ontario Securities Commission to give them more data, but also for a chance for you guys in Ontario to potentially, I presume, get some money back from the fraudsters. While the OSC's investigation into Novatech activities is ongoing. It appears Novatech may be operating in breach of Ontario securities law, including provisions related to unregistered trading and the illegal distribution of securities. In early February 2023, Novatech announced that it placed a temporary freeze on trading account withdrawals. Notwithstanding the freeze, Novatech continued to make its products available to Ontario members, sorry, Ontario investors. So even though they've frozen people withdrawing, they're still taking deposits for their illegal uh, securities offering. Ontario investors who have been approached by Novatech or purchased its investment products should contact the OSC's Inquiries and Contact Centre at 1-877-785-1555 or inquiries at osc.gov.on.ca. I'll put the links in the description as well and also to this uh, immediate release uh, investor alert for Novatech in the description below. The OSC urges investors always to check the registration of any personal business trying to sell them an investment or give them investment advice. Before investing in crypto assets, investors should also consult the list of platforms that are registered with Canadian securities regulators and so on. So essentially the temporary cease trade order has basically said look for 15 days whilst Ontario gather more information and put together their plan uh, and I'm assuming it's going to get extended to be a permanent uh, trade, uh, cease trading order. Uh, but at the moment it's 15 days. Uh, no doubt the Novatech uh, uh, upline will be saying to people, ah, no, it's only temporary. It's nothing to worry about. Don't worry. We're going to get paid after the 1st of April and this is just a temporary uh, cease and desist style of uh, warning and no, everything's fine. It's not. This is 
really serious stuff. If you're in Novatech, um, if you've promoted it, you're in real big problems. But if you uh, even just contributed, you've still got problems because your money is gone, basically. It's a scam, it's a scam, it's a scam. Now, having said all that, like I've said, uh, people very often say to me, well, Paul, what have you got as an alternative? How can we learn uh, to get investments that are not scams? So let me just take you through to a website. This is called VC Crowd. I've been a member uh, and uh, doing this sort of trading since 2015. I say trading, it's investing. What you're doing here is very much like Dragon's Den or Shark Tank on television, where you get investments early on in young companies uh, that have the potential to grow into really uh, big companies. So for example, selection of their portfolio companies. And, and again, what VC Crowd do is they do all the heavy lifting. They go and research uh, companies because there are thousands of startup companies in early stage businesses um, around but VC Crowd with their expert advisors who are FCA regulated and approved they go and investigate businesses and and advise the club uh, whether they should make an investment or not and typically the club will go and make a hundred thousand pound two hundred thousand pound investment that sort of thing which normally if you were a private investor that's the sort of figures you would need to be able to make investments in small companies like these uh, but the joy of doing it through VC Crowd, you pay a membership fee to the club. Every month you get shares up to the same value of your membership and you get shares in companies just like these. So uh, we've got a company here called Happy Drinks. Happy Drinks are doing incredibly well. Um, the share price now is valued at £1.50 per share. Uh, we originally got in these, I think I was managing to get some shares about 40 pence. Um, so a 400% uh, increase there so far, but Happy Drinks are going really well. Uh, they've got their products in Marks and & Spencers and Lidl in the UK and they're expanding fast, huge factory and uh, a really exciting project and business to own shares in. Now these are privately owned businesses, VC Crowd stands for Venture Capital Crowd. So venture capital normally is reserved for high net worth individuals and investment businesses. Yeah, the, the professional investors, that's where they come uh, in venture capital. But you can actually join this club. There's a link in the description or go to copydragons.com. Uh, that's my website where I explain more about how it all works. You can see my own videos, my own uh, account balances and, and uh, my own take on this. Uh, but this is a very legitimate, genuine way to get investments in early stage businesses that potentially could give very high returns. There's absolutely no guarantees, uh, but if you've watched Dragon's Den and Shark Tank, some of those businesses, if you get in the right business right at the start, before it gets to the stock market, before the general public find out about it, then there's a lot of money to be made. I'll just give finish one, in, one quick example on that. Let's say you managed to get into Tesla when there were just 30 employees. Um, you know, even if you'd put $100, 100 pounds into that, at that stage, you'd be a multi-millionaire by now. So that's the power of this early stage investing, angel investing, it's also called venture capital investing. Um, so do check out the link, copydragons.com. But uh, hopefully you found this video useful. Do subscribe to my channel if you're interested in putting your money to work. That's what my channel is all about. Give me a thumbs up and pass any questions you might have and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.